Hi. Thank you for joining for MicroStrategy demo. Now we're going to discuss about is the MicroStrategy architecture. We know that the MicroStrategy is a BI reporting tool, but we even need to know how what is how the MicroStrategy has been architected. Before before we understand the MicroStrategy architecture, let's understand what are the uh, five styles of any BI application. The five styles of the BI applications include data mining and advanced analysis visual and online analytical processing analysis, enterprise reporting, dashboards and scorecards, mobile apps and alerts. So MicroStrategy as a BI application offers the five styles and all have been listed over here. So in MicroStrategy really has the data mining capabilities, you can perform the advanced analysis, you can, have the, you can make a use of online analytical processing, you have something called as enterprise reporting where you can get all the statistical data, you have all the enhanced uh, dashboards and the scorecards, the dynamic dashboards and the scorecards that you can really develop within the MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy is only not limited to your desktop or a laptop. You can even have it configured on a mobile device. So even if you are if you are driving anywhere within the mobile, if you are, if you are carrying your mobile, you can just access your MicroStrategy environment and get the data at any point of time, anywhere. A MicroStrategy uh, you know, really offers the ease of use and a self-service. So it's unparalleled usability and self-service for the business user, any user interface. So it's not that you're really, you really need to depend on anything. It's all self-service. Just log into the MicroStrategy, use the reports, get the data, and make the decision. It also offers the highest user scalability. So from novice to expert, it serves around like hundreds equal to 100,000 people efficiently. So irrespective of the number of users you have in your environment, MicroStrategy serves everyone. MicroStrategy also offers the plug and play components. So you really do not have to you know, uh, spend more time in the application deployment. It's really start, uh, you know, it has a start small and incremental, uh, incrementally grow using one or more combination of BI styles. So you just, it's, a, it's kind of a plug and play feature and all the components are working for you. It's the highest report scalability. Rapid, rep, a rapid report development through reuse with one report design serving many users. So as a microstrategy uh, in the report, in, in the microstrategy reporting, you really don't have to create a, a multiple reports for the multiple customers. I can have more generic, more ad hoc kind of reporting, where just I can have my one report which will serve multiple purposes for the multiple users. So all the reusability can be done within this particular environment, with this particular reporting environment. So you can have your you can have your deployment, you can have your development done very quickly. It could be reused and it can be shared across multiple users. It, it, it even has the automated report maintainability. A micro strategy, whenever you work on a micro strategy, it has a metadata architecture which ensures that the changes ripple through all the reports automatically. So whatever the changes you do at one point, at one area, it's going to be reflected across your environment. So it, it offers the automated report maintain, maintainability. A purpose is security and user administration. A security is automatically applied to all the people reports and data to role-based user administration. So even if, in, if it's not that the MicroStrategy is available for everyone, you can have the security implemented as well. As there are various levels at which you can do really apply all kind of security. You can have the security applied at the user level. You can have the security deployed at the report level. You can even have it at the data level. So you need to make sure what kind of data needs to be displayed, needs to be showcased to what kind of users. So you need to first have the authenticate users to log in into the MicroStrategy and when they run the re same report, they will just see the data what they are having access for. MicroStrategy also has the enterprise operation, so high performance, non-stop operation and a centralized administration. MicroStrategy has the highest data scal scalability. Accessing, accessing the data from across the enterprise to the depth and the breadth of the 
data pieces. So it has the highest data scalability and you can just really look out from the data at, any, at from any angle. You can just, you know, uh, scan the entire data that you have within the uh, database from any dimension, same dimension, across the dimension, any horizon that you can really analyze your data. If you ask me from the microstrategy, uh, microstrategy architecture, this is a very high level diagram which shows you that, okay, what kind of data you can really access. You can have your databases, you can have your cube databases, you have your transactional app applications, your file, your website content. So it's not that microstrategy always has to fetch the data from your database. I can have the transactional application, I can just have my flat files or I can even access the website content through web services. So MicroStrategy can fetch the data from anywhere. Once you have, MicroStrategy also offers the centralized uh, intelligence server. So whatever the connections that you want to make it to any kind of a data source, either it could be database, as I said, the flat files or the website content, a MicroStrategy really just need to have a connection to uh, that particular data source. And once the connection is just successful, you can really fetch the data and display in your reporting environment. And from the architecture perspective, you will have a MicroStrategy Intelligent Server, which offers a metadata configuration along with all the services that can be offered as a server. So you have report services, you have OLAP services, you have transactional services, multi-source option, distribution services. So basically, if in case uh, you have a two kind of databases in a micro strategy like Oracle and Netiza, I can just have one project, I can just have one report which can fetch the data from both the different databases and display within the same report. That's what is called as multi-sourcing. You can even have your transaction services. When I say a transaction services, you can uh, perform any kind of a transaction. I can even write, I can even implement a write back feature. So even if in case you ha need to have a report where you want to write back to your database, that's possible from the MicroStrategy report. I, I, MicroStrategy also offers the distribution services. So this is all components which are incorporated in the MicroStrategy Intelligent Server. So the distribution services that you need to distribute your report via email uh, or uh, saving to a particular file location. So the MicroStrategy Intelligent Server really offers the multiple services that you can really take advantage of. As a rule, okay, as a developer tools, I have architect, de uh, desktop designer, web professional, SDK, and a cube. So uh, as a developer, I can really use a multiple, uh, a multiple tools, multiple applications, like the architect, I can really uh, design the entire architecture within the MicroStrategy tool. I can have all the desktop development done. I can even work on the MicroStrategy web. Even if in case you want to do any kind of a cosmetic changes, MicroStrategy also offers the SDK. So this is something, you know, it's a full spectrum of the developer tools. There is something, MicroStrategy even offers the administration tools like Enterprise Manager, Command Manager, Object Manager, Integrity, and System Manager. So you have various administrative tools to perform uh, various kind of operation, how I want to really administer my MicroStrategy environment, how I need to make sure that, you know, my MicroStrategy objects are saying, uh, if in case I want to collect the statistics, if in case I want to make sure that my metadata is not corrupted. So for all these functionalities, we MicroStrategy really has all its, uh, you know, individual administrative tools, and through each of it, you can get all your tasks done. So there are, there, there are multiple layers. You have the developer tools, you have the administrative tools, you have the MicroStrategy Intelligence Server. On top of the MicroStrategy Intelligence Server, you can really do your reporting via three. I can use a micro, I can, I can use a mobile devices. Either it could be an Apple, it could be an Android, or it could be a Blackberry. Okay? So uh, MicroStrategy is not that it's only, you know, uh, you can use only one of the component. No, I can access the MicroStrategy from a mobile. I can access the MicroStrategy from any browser. I can even access the MicroStrategy from any of the Office component. 
So when I see the micro strategy mobile, it could be like iPad, tablets, Blackberry, anything. If I see a micro strategy web, I just any browsers or the portals, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and so on. It can be even accessed from any of the Microsoft, uh, Microsoft Office tools like Excel, PowerPoint, Word document. So the micro strategy can be really integrated and it can be accessed almost from everywhere. So this is uh, at very high level of uh, the micro strategy architecture. If I look from this server uh, architecture, a micro strategy has like you know a three tier or a four tier architecture. So if I see a three tier architecture is something that you have a micro strategy intelligence server and that gets connected directly to the desktop. So if you look over here, this is from the configuration and the architecture perspective. I will have something my data warehouse, I will have something called as my micro strategy metadata, which will be mapped to micro strategy intelligence server. A micro strategy intelligent server, as we have discussed, is a centralized server and thus will be directly connected to the micro strategy desktop through which you uh, know, which is uh, can be accessed by multiple client machines. So if you're working as an architect or a developer, you can really access the micro strategy desktop through various client machine, which will be directly having one-to-one -one connection with your micro strategy intelligent server. If in case you need to use a micro strategy web where it uh, which says you know your your configured in micro strategy is configured as a four tier, so it has the same thing. You have a metadata and the warehouse which is connected to a micro strategy intelligence server, but just that you have to make it as a micro available as a micro strategy web. You even need a micro strategy web server which can be deployed on an IIS or a Apache Tomcat anything. So the, that depends. So once you have the I server configured, on top of that, you need to even have your micro strategy web server configured, which would be pointing to the micro strategy intelligence server. And once my web server is configured, I can multiple clients can access the micro strategy via micro strategy web. All this are secured, so it's not that you know, uh, it's not that anyone can access micro strategy. Micro strategy really offers all kind of a security role based and uh, the so once the only the authenticate users can really access the micro strategy environment so this is all about the micro strategy architecture so we really understand the, all the components and how micro strategy really works and uh, from where from which all uh, devices which all uh, now uh, you can really uh, from which all environment you can really access your micro strategy. Thanks a lot for joining in.